Pennsylvanians, fellow Americans, I'm Brian Thompson. I want to share a few thoughts about tonight's State of the Union address. I'm a 24 year veteran, a Green Beret, father, grandfather, went to Duke, got my MBA. And there are a lot of things that came out in tonight's State of the Union address that really struck home with me, struck a core with me. But one of the biggest ones, um, especially from my military experience, is what the president said in support of uh, President Guaido and, and Venezuela where he's talking about going over the, the support of the people of Venezuela. They're being oppressed. They, they have a dictator government right now. They need the help. They need the support. And uh, I'm very thankful that the president you know, made that a, made a strong statement about that. I also want to mention that I fully support and appreciate the president saying that uh, he was going to end the health care for illegal immigrants coming to our nation. Uh, they're illegal here. You know, they're illegally here. So they, they shouldn't be able to receive the benefits that um, rightly belong to many of our citizenry right now. I mean, we've got veterans that need health care. We've got people out there that need health care that can't get it. It's too expensive for them. We shouldn't be spending that, that financial resource on illegal immigrants. On the line of health care, I appreciate the president mentioning that uh, he's going to have the um, price transparency for hospitals. I think that is uh, long overdue. We need to have that. People need to know what they're being billed for, what their expenses are when they're going to the doctor. Whether the insurance is going to pay for it or they have to pay for it out of pocket, people have a right to know. In that, I am very proud to stand behind the president and the differences he's made in the opioid crisis here in Pennsylvania. Being down by 18% of overdoses, that, that is a, a huge step in the right direction. There's a lot more to do, but we're moving the right way. I thank the president for supporting the protection of our American rights, uh, the rights to freedom, the rights to speech, the rights to defend ourselves, to keep and bear arms. Um, that is quite the pledge and we need to stand behind that. It's long overdue, and there shouldn't be a question that our government stands behind the rights of the people. We need to support that. All in all, let's look at what the administration has done in the previous three, uh, three years. We've got the lowest unemployment rates right now in 50 years. We need to make sure that that lowest level of unemployment is hitting right here at home in our district. We've got to make sure we have jobs for people that want to work. The whole reason that I'm running, the reason I'm here, is to make a difference in people's lives. The individual citizen, the families, those are the people I'm fighting for. Those are the people that I wanna to go to Washington DC and fight for. As we find ourselves moving forward, I wanna humbly ask you for your thoughts, your comments below. Please, uh, whatever it is, I'll, I'll engage in conversation. I thank you that um, we have work to do and I have support to go out there and do it. Please like, comment, support, whatever you can do to, to help out and further what we're doing. Thank you again, and God bless you.